All righty, guys. So look, we've got almost everybody. So here again, one more time. I'm totally fine if you're using your phone to join this Google Meet. I understand that sometimes Google Meet does not work on your Chromebook well. That is perfectly fine. However, in order to take the test, you have to use the school-provided Chromebook. It will not work any other way. It just won't. It'll say, you can't access this Google form. So you will need to use your Google Chromebook for the test and only the test. Um, so that being said, please make sure that you are logged into that Google Chromebook. If for whatever reason you do not have a Google Chromebook, leave me a private comment on the actual test assignment. That way I know. Um, so that being said, let's go over bell work together. So one more time, you need to do attendance, uh, that Google form, that's how you get counted present. Second, you need to be logged on to your Google Chrome given to you by the school so you can take the test. Those are the two things I need you to do. But right now, I'm about to show you guys about bell work. So if you go over to your Google Classroom, do, 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 do. Uh, first things first, you're going to take that attendance. You're going to fill out that form so that I can count you as present for today. If you do not fill out that form, even if I see your face, I can't count you present. The school wants us to go by that Google form. Okay. Next thing you're going to see, boom, 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 is this stuff. So first, bell work on Friday. Let's talk about it. So your bell work today is actually optional. You still need to turn it in, so you still need to click mark is done at the end of all this, but you do not have to do it. So that being said, here's how bell work works. Um, so you're going to click on bell work, and it says make your test bonus sheet if you want five points back on your first test. I'm going to highly, highly, highly suggest that you do that. Here's why. Your first test only has 10 questions, which means that if you miss two, you make an 80. If you miss three, you make a 70. If you miss four, you make a failing grade. That's a 60. So please, 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 that five. Okay, Sherry, I need you to stop doing TikTok dances. Thank you. Um, that means that five point bonus, if you miss four, that five point bonus will put you at a 65, which is passing. So like, please, please, please do this five point bonus. You can do it on a piece of paper. You're just gonna draw yourself four little squares on one side of the paper, four little squares on the back side of the paper. You're gonna label it this stuff, character setting, main events questions. That is for story of an hour. So that's for the first one. The back side is for the second one, central ideas, supporting details, inferences, and questions. Now, if you want to be fancy and you want to just print it out, I also made a Google Doc so you can just print it out. Um, I don't care if you do it on notebook paper. I don't care if you do it on printer paper. I don't care if you take a Walmart receipt and make this as long as you do what it tells you to do. Now, there are some further directions in this. You must have at least one item in each question section in the central idea section. You should have two or more or two items in all other sections. So in characters, you're going to have more than one character. In setting, you're going to have at least a day-ish and a year-ish. So old-timey at a house. There you go. Uh, main events, you should have a couple of those. Questions, you should have at least one, even if you're just making up a random question. Why is this lady dumb? Who knows? All right. Then, for the next part, you've got your central idea. So, that's kind of the main idea. You should only have one of those. Supporting details, you should have a couple things that show that main idea. Inferences, you should be able to give me at least two things that you can guess based on what's going on, and then questions. You should have at least one question. Why are viruses so weird? I don't know, whatever it is. 
So that is your bell work. You can choose to do that for those five points, or you can just mark as done and not do it. Totally up to you. Now, comes to your test assignment. Do, 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 do. So here we go. Your test assignment. I attest, attached your test bonus sheet. Again, guys, I really want you to do it if you haven't noticed. Then you've got this wonderful um, test. Um, I can't see the test because I'm not on a Chromebook. You have to use a Chromebook to access the test. Um, go ahead and get that test done. When you're done with the test, you're done with class. You don't have to join back to the Google Meet. You don't have to do anything else. All you got to do is take the test today. Now, real quick, one more thing. If you do not know how to attach, so let's say you do your test bonus on a piece of paper or on a Walmart receipt or wherever, this is how you are going to attach it to your assignment. So you're going to click on either bell work or that test assignment and you're going to attach it here. how easy it is you literally just click add and then click the thing you want to add so step one if you're going to do the test bonus make sure you got that written out step two do the test step three have a good weekend so what i want you guys to do now is log out of google meet and take this test if you have any questions leave me a private comment good luck guys Bye. I got a question. Yes, ma'am. So for bell work, it, if we don't attach it, say like we don't attach the, we do the test uh, um thing, the extra bonus thing, whatever, but then we attach it to the test assignment. Would that be considered the bell work too? Yep. You just hit mark is done either way. Okay. 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 Bye.